Want to build awesome Angular apps fast? With Daisy UI's pre-built component in Angular, you can create projects like this habit tracker and so much more in a fraction of the time. Let's dive right in and set up a new Angular project. We add Angular routing and SCSS. Once the setup is complete, we change into the front-end directory. We need to install a few libraries using this command. We need to create this Tailwind config file and add this code to connect the easy UI components to Tailwind CSS. In our global styles file, we have to add these Tailwind CSS directives. This will allow us to use Tailwind CSS directly in HTML tags. Optionally, we can set the default mode to light mode in the HTML tag in our global HTML file. Let's go to the Daisy UI website, open components, and scroll down to the hero component. We select the centered hero, copy the code, and paste it into our app component HTML file. Let's remove the button, replace the title with today's habits, and replace the paragraph with this text. We add flex column to the hero content. Go back to the Daisy UI website, select component, and scroll down to the card component and copy the small card. Let's copy this HTML code, go back to our code and paste it in here. Now let's remove the button and the paragraph tag. Go back to the Daisy UI website, components, Scroll down to checkbox and copy the checkbox HTML code and paste it after the h2 tag. Now let's create a div tag with this class and copy in the card inside this new div. Let's change the width of the card to 72 and let's create a new div with this class and copy in the h2 and input tags inside of it. Save it and let's go back to our website and you can see we have a card right here. To avoid code duplication, let's create a habits array of objects with two properties, the name of the card and a boolean called isComplete to track the completed status of each habit. We add ng4 to loop over the array of habit objects, then we replace this exercise with the template expressions to access the name property of the habit object. And finally, we add ngModel to bind the habits isCompleted status. To use ngModel, we have to import the forms module in the app module file and add it to the imports array. Let's save everything and check out the website that we built. It works, but there's something missing. Let's add some confetti. Let's install a library called Canvas Confetti and create a service called Confetti inside a services folder. Let's open Confetti Services and add this. Add an instance of Confetti and create a launch Confetti function that will get the mouse position with the mouse event and launch confetti from the mouse position and import the confetti library. Let's head back to the app component, add the confetti service to the constructor and import the confetti service. Let's create a function called on checkbox change that will take the mouse event and the index position of the selected habit and call the launch confetti function that we created in the confetti service. Now let's go to the app component HTML file and add the on checkbox change function and pass the mouse event and index. Let's add this to get the current index of the loop. Save everything and head over to the website. Ta da! Thank you for sticking around to the end. The link to the code will be in the video description. If you enjoyed this, hit like and in the comments, write what you want to see next.